dogs. They can smell cancer with their noses. Their tongues are more powerful than a rocket. And they could be driving us around someday soon. I always say, dog is my co-pilot. I mean, this is literally, he's my co-pilot. He's my pilot. Plus, the polar bear. It's not really white. It can stop a pregnancy in its tracks. And it may just offer a cure for human obesity. And polar bears are literally the ultimate of the bears. And find out how the clubs of the four inch long mantis shrimp can KO Floyd Money Mayweather and protect us against bombs on the battlefield. I didn't survive the IMD without producing any shrapnel. This is where savage meets science. And wild becomes wow. This is everything you didn't know about animals. They fought gladiators in Rome and can regenerate their own bones. They might help make humans invisible at night. And they may even provide a cure for diabetes. They came from brown bears, but now they're a breed apart. They're polar bears, the largest four-legged carnivore in the world. Here in the Arctic, temperatures can drop to a brutal minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. In these conditions, exposed human skin can freeze in under five minutes. But what we call inhospitable, the polar bear calls home. Polar bears are literally the ultimate of the bears. They're these giant white bears roaming around in an environment that looks more like the surface of the moon. To think that an animal can make a living out there is pretty impressive. They even have a third eyelid, which acts like sunglasses to prevent snow blindness. In fact, every part of this master adapter is a testament to how perfectly built they are for their environment. Beginning with this, a liver so specialized, adding it to your diet could kill you. And that's after your skin peels off. A polar bear's liver contains 10 to 20 times more vitamin A than almost any other mammal on Earth. It's an adaptation for surviving almost exclusively on seal fat, which just happens to be super high in vitamin A. It goes right into their body as storage, and it's that highly rich food, that highly nutritious food that has allowed polar bears to become the largest of all the bears. And also the bear with the largest amount of vitamin A in its liver. A polar bear's liver contains over 30 times the recommended daily allowance in humans. It would take 43 boxes of fortified cereal flakes to equal the vitamin A in just one gram of polar bear liver. If a human tried to harness some of that power, the results wouldn't be pretty. It starts with a headache. Your vision blurs. Next thing you know, your skin starts to peel and death comes calling. Diagnosis, polar bear poisoning. So hold the onions. This liver is off the menu. Of all eight bear species alive today, the polar bear is the youngest. But a lot has happened in the 500,000 years since this became this. A lot of their traits are adaptations to living in Arctic conditions. So they have very small ears compared to other bears, and that's thought to keep in warmth. But you need more than small ears in a land cold enough to turn motor oil into ice cubes. To earn the title of Master Adapter, you need to be so good at keeping warm, you're invisible to infrared. First, if you look beneath the polar bear's fur, you'll see that this white warrior 
is actually black. That dark color soaks up the sun's rays for warmth, just like a car's leather seats on a sunny day. But it takes more than sunshine to keep warm in the Arctic. So under that black skin, the polar bear has a four inch thick layer of blubber to trap in their body heat. That fat keeps them so well insulated that when you look at a polar bear on an infrared camera, you see nothing at all. Okay, almost nothing. If you fly over it with an infrared camera, most of the body doesn't glow very strongly at all. So they're relatively uh, hidden from the standpoint of how much heat they radiate. Some research suggests modeling the insulating properties of polar bears to create high-tech camouflage, which future soldiers could use to avoid infrared detection on the battlefield. To be the master adapter, you have to be able to hunt your prey without being seen. They figured out it's better to be white if you're out here in a white environment to sneak up on seals. Even more ingenious, they figured out how to look white without actually being white. <laughs> look closely and you'll see. Polar bear hairs are transparent and hollow. When sunlight penetrates the clear, hollow hair, it bounces off the inner core, then gets scattered back out into the environment. So why the white appearance? The normal ambient light that comes from the sun, we call white light. Sometimes in really bright light, the polar bears almost look like they're glowing because of the way that the light is scattered. They look almost too white to be natural. But if you're a seal, all you'll see is another white mound on a landscape of white mounds, until you see nothing at all. A polar bear's bite is estimated to be more powerful than a great white shark, and it has the biggest paws of any bear, a full 12 to 18 inches across, at least an inch larger than most dinner plates. And that is huge, and they've actually been known to kill an animal with just one single blow. That's how strong these guys are. But the polar bear isn't just a fighter. It's also perfectly adapted for love. With a nose that can sniff out a mate from over 200,000 feet away. Looking for love can be hard when you're as spread out as polar bears. When I was radio tracking polar bears in northern Alaska, the largest activity area that I measured was 230,000 square miles, or nearly the size of the state of Texas. A long way to go for love. But distance makes the heart grow fonder and smellier. A brand new study released in early 2015 shows that female polar bears use special scent glands in their paws to leave love notes in the snow. And the male gets the message. We've seen situations where we're following a bear from a helicopter and it was kind of meandering around like this and all of a sudden, boom, it took off in a straight line for 40 miles. When we caught up with it, it was right on the tail of a female that was in breeding condition. That would be like smelling your date's perfume in Toledo, Ohio, when you're standing in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And once two polar bears hook up, the female can employ its next incredible adaptation. Something humans only wish they could do. But first, even though the polar bear stands out as a notorious carnivore, it shares the same legal classification as one of these other less lethal animals. Is it A, the dolphin, B, the elephant, or C, the koala? A polar bear can eat the equivalent of an entire adult human in just one sitting. 
Once a polar bear digs into its meal, it can gorge on 150 pounds of meat at a time. That's up to 20% of its own body weight. If a 170-pound man ate 20% of his own weight, that would be like scarfing down a 34-pound steak. Before the break, we asked which of these animals has the same legal classification as a polar bear. Is it A, the dolphin, B, the elephant, or C, the koala? The answer? The polar bear is in the same boat with the dolphin. Just like dolphins, whales, and even seals, the polar bear is considered a marine mammal. All of their nutrition comes from that marine food chain, and so they've been classified as marine mammals. But we've given the polar bear another title, that of Master Adapter. To show how they've earned that moniker, we're illuminating some of the polar bear's most ingenious traits for surviving at the top of the world including the female's ability to conserve the energy needed to survive by stopping a pregnancy in its tracks. First, the egg is fertilized, and the race is on for the female to put on as much weight as possible, over 400 pounds in just a few months. But here's the amazing part. If she doesn't gain enough weight, her body can stop the pregnancy so she doesn't waste resources carrying cubs she can't care for. Take a closer look at how it works. The egg is fertilized, but then development stops at a matter of just a few dozen or a few hundred cells, a stage of development that we call the blastocyst. That blastocyst will stay in the fallopian tube. And if the polar bear decides she's not fat enough, she will actually reabsorb the blastocyst into her system. How is that possible, and can humans do that? Like, gee, it would be really nice if I had a job right now. I can't really afford a baby. Maybe, maybe, maybe next time, kid? But if the polar bear does commit to the pregnancy, things get really extreme. And as it turns out, the way she gives birth might help give life to humans. When a polar bear goes into her den to give birth, she won't eat, expel waste, or move for the next seven months. If humans spent as many months lying around, we'd lose a third of our bone mass. And going that long without a bathroom break would kill our kidneys. So it's possible that studying how polar bears survive these extreme conditions could help us better understand things like kidney disease in humans. But that's just a theory. Scientists are already studying the polar bear to provide cures for the approximately 190 million people worldwide suffering from obesity and diabetes. Here's how. When females leave the den, they will have lost half their body weight. But in just a few months, she'll pack it all back on, and then some. That sort of a change in body weight would be lethal to humans. But amazingly, polar bears are still able to maintain appropriate insulin and blood sugar balances. How? Researchers at UC Berkeley have identified several mutated polar bear genes that seem connected to the way they survive their high-fat diets. Studying these genes is the first step to creating genetic tools that could one day allow us to cope with our own high-fat diets. Obesity, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, even heart disease. In a real way, the fat of the world's biggest four-legged predator could help cure some of the biggest killers of humans. Who needs Weight Watchers? Want to save the whales? Get a dog. The poop sniffing dog was a hero to conservationists. But that's not all. Their noses can take you to court. 
or protect you from seizures. They might be driving you around someday soon. And they may just help humans live past 100. Man's best friend? More like humanity's greatest gift. Dogs are next. This hero can smell cancer cells in your body. And hear secret messages recorded by rock stars. They can help you survive a heart attack. And may even be critical to saving some of our most endangered species from extinction. They're small, they're big, and they've been sharing our homes for up to 30,000 years. They're dogs, and they might just be one of the most capable animals on the planet. You know, I think dogs are the best deal mankind ever made. We give them the time we can share and the love we can spare, and they give us their absolute all. But even though they're the world's first domestic pet, there's still a lot these furry sidekicks can do that we're just beginning to realize. To prove it, we're counting down seven of the most surprising things you might not have known the dog could do. Starting with this, dogs can drive. It's not a joke. Researchers in New Zealand have taught dogs to burn rubber using special modified cars. Okay, turn, turn. It was a, a campaign to basically raise awareness of how smart dogs can be. I always say dog is my co-pilot. And this is literally my co He's my pilot. These driving dogs can start the engine, put it in gear, and even turn on a dime. Turn. Good girl. Between driver's ed and getting a learner's permit, it takes most human teenagers at least six months before they can drive on their own. These dogs learned it all in just two months. So, who knows? Maybe the streets of the future will be filled with furry chauffeurs. Okay, break, break. While driving dogs might make the world more dangerous for cats, for the most part, canines do a pretty good job of making things safer for everyone. Which is why the second most surprising thing you might not have known dogs could do is this. They can take you to court. Well, sort of. Meet the Bloodhound, a dog with a nose so powerful, it's admissible as evidence in 45 states. A bloodhound named Nick Carter once helped capture and convict over 600 criminals. They see the world in a, in a completely different way than us, largely because they see through their smell. So their smell is really how they take everything in. To give you an idea, I think everybody can think of an NFL stadium in a city, the size of that. If you were to fill that stadium up with all yellow tennis balls, and one blue tennis ball. Then if each tennis ball represented a molecule of scent, some of these dogs can detect that one blue tennis ball in a whole stadium filled full of yellow tennis balls. That's how incredible their scent is. Bloodhounds have been known to pick up a scent trail up to 300 hours old. For fugitives, that means even if you have a 12 and a half day head start, the bloodhound can still hunt you down. Also, dogs can drive now, so good luck running. Dogs are one of the most diverse species in the world. In fact, there's more differences between the skulls of Great Danes and pugs than there are between weasels and walruses. That's why number three in our list is that dogs can evolve with incredible speed. Whether big or small, all dogs came from the same place, the gray wolf. But how do we go from these guys to this? 150 years ago, we didn't have nearly the variety we do today. But when Queen Victoria started showing off a rare Chinese Pekingese, the 
public went wild customizing canines through breeding. Now, with over 400 recognized breeds and new ones being created all the time, dogs are the most varied animal on the planet. From one of the tallest, a Great Dane named Zeus, who on his hind legs stood seven feet four inches, to one of the smallest, Millie, a one pound chihuahua. There's Sky, the wire fox terrier who won best in show. And then there's Peanut, proud winner of the world's ugliest dog contest. As an owner of two pugs, obviously I like homely dogs. I think they're cute. Today, there are roughly 525 million pet dogs across the whole planet. That's over one and a half times the population of the entire United States. And still not one representative in Congress. As legend has it, the explorer Ponce de Leon came to Florida in 1513, searching for the proverbial fountain of youth. But maybe he should have been looking a little closer to home. Because when it comes to aging, dogs may just hold the secret to keeping us young at heart and body. They may quite literally be the fountain of youth. According to multiple studies, dogs already have a huge impact on human health. Just owning a dog can lower your cholesterol by at least 2%, reducing your chance for a heart attack by 4%. And should the worst happen, dogs can help with that, too. One of the profound things we've found is that survivors of heart attacks, within that first year after having a heart attack, those that have a dog have a better outlook of surviving. But it doesn't stop there. Dogs can be trained to detect seizures before they happen and can even smell cancer in humans with up to 95% accuracy they can alert you, sometimes with a much greater accuracy than our normal medical tests, that that person may or may not have cancer. So it's pretty amazing. As if that isn't enough, brand new research into canine aging might just hold the key to stopping the clock on aging in humans. We know that there's this big difference in body size across the dogs, but that difference also then translates into a difference in how long the animal lives. So an Irish wolfhound is only going to live half as long as that chihuahua. On average, every four additional pounds on a dog translates to a loss of approximately one month of life expectancy. Larger dogs actually age faster. And we're still trying to figure out why. And does that relate in some way to human aging? You know, so that's one of the questions that we're interested in. To find those answers, in 2014, Adam Boyko and other researchers teamed up with the National Institute of Aging to form the first ever Canine Longevity Consortium. Its goal is to study dogs of all different sizes to find how things like genetic and environmental factors, or even a few extra pounds, might influence aging. And since dogs and humans share so much of the same environment, they hope this research will have a significant impact on how we treat geriatric illness in humans. Because of age-related research studies with similar goals, some scientists believe the first person to live to be 150 has already been born. There doesn't seem to be much the dog can't do. They can even hear secret messages recorded by rock stars. Can you guess which musical group recorded a secret sound for their dog in one of their most famous songs? Was it A, R.E.M., B, The Beatles, or C, Radiohead? Plus, find out how a dog's tongue is more powerful than a space shuttle. They can hear four times farther away than humans. And they can tune in on pitches two times higher than us. That's rock star hearing. And one band understood this better than others. Before the break, we asked you which musical group recorded a secret sound for their dog in one of their most famous songs. Was it A, R.E.M., 
B, the Beatles, or C, Radiohead? The answer? It was the fab for themselves, the Beatles. In the song, A Day in the Life, Paul McCartney recorded an ultrasonic whistle that was only audible to his sheepdog. Paul knew dogs have some pretty amazing abilities, but even he might be amazed by our list of the seven most surprising things dogs can do. For number five, we're going underground. Because hard as it might be to believe, dogs can ride the subway. Moscow, Russia, a city of roughly 35,000 stray dogs. And incredibly, a handful of them have figured out how to get around using the city's elaborate subway system. With 202 miles of track and 194 different stations, the Moscow subway is one of the biggest and busiest in Europe. This is not a random occurrence. It appears that these dogs know where they're going, just like humans do. They get on at a certain stop, they get off at a certain stop. Maybe they're gonna go visit their friend, the Schnauzer, Vladimir, who knows? I don't know. But even above ground, dogs seem to have an almost super ability to find their way around. How do they do it? Scientists believe they may be able to navigate the world by sensing the Earth's magnetic field. And the way experts discovered how dogs know where to go was by watching how they go. Here's something most dog owners can relate to. You'll go outside and it's cold and you're thinking, oh, hurry up, would you hurry up? They're sniffing, they're moving, they're circling, and finally they plant this fecal flag. I call it careful placing dung shui. That's how careful it is. In a two-year study, researchers observed 70 dogs of different breeds going to the bathroom 7,000 times. And what they found was that dogs prefer to align themselves along the Earth's north-south axis when doing the deed. It's like they have a compass in their butts. So while we can't be sure, it's possible dogs may be using this super sixth sense to help navigate things like the Moscow Underground. Or at least your neighbor's begonias. Contrary to what you may have heard, dogs' tongues are not cleaner than your own mouth. It's actually a hotbed of bacteria. But we let them give us facials anyway. I mean, I've been on network TV and told four million people to not let your pet lick you in the mouth because of the potential threat of zoonotic diseases. And I do exactly the opposite of what I told these people to do. You know, I let the dog jump up my lap. Oh, give daddy sugar. Daddy loves you. Of course, the dog uses its tongue for more than just cleaning our pores. It really comes out to play when a dog wants to grab a drink. And the incredible way that they do that is our surprising skill number six. A dog's tongue can defy the forces of gravity. So when you watch a dog drinking, you would think, OK, they just kind of like scoop it up in their tongue. But actually, their tongue's more like a ladle. Look closely, and you'll see that the tongue bends back, making a reverse cup that scoops up water with eight times the force of gravity. To put that in perspective, when an astronaut launches into orbit, it's at 1.7 times the force of gravity, or 1.7 Gs. So a dog is lapping up water with almost five times the Gs astronauts feel at takeoff. And that's not the dog's only connection to outer space. The first living creature to ever orbit the Earth was a dog named Laika. In your face, Neil Armstrong. Wouldn't it be great if we could tell what our dogs were thinking? Researchers at North Carolina State recently unveiled a prototype harness packed with sensors that might, in a way, achieve that goal. 
This harness allows the owner to monitor their dog's mood, stress level, and even its posture, all from a wireless device. So the dream of being able to read your dog's mind might not be such a fantasy after all. Hint, they want bacon. Or maybe they want to save the world. For our seventh and final thing dogs can do, we're looking at how their noses might actually save other animals from extinction. From killer whales to the elusive gibbon, everybody poops. And for conservationists, that stuff is as valuable as gold. Collecting DNA from animal scat is one of the key ways modern researchers track what factors might be leading to a species decline and what steps can be taken to stop it. So getting to the poop is important. Problem is, finding feces isn't easy. Unless you're a dog. Dogs can be trained to find the excrement of up to 18 different endangered species. And it's already making a huge difference. In 25 years of trying to collect orca scat in the Pacific Northwest, scientists could count on one hand how many samples they found. Just one dog named Tucker found 150 in six months. And he can smell the scat in the ocean from over 5,000 feet away. It's almost like standing at the top of the Grand Canyon and smelling poop at the bottom. With over 16,000 species currently listed as endangered, in a very real way, the dog's nose might help save the planet. And so the poop sniffing dog, you know, is a hero to conservationists. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Now, who needs a ride? The mantis shrimp. It has a punch as strong as a bullet. Eyes that can see cancer. The speed to vaporize water. And the strength to help build the next generation of army tanks. It might just be, pound for pound, the toughest animal in the world. lives in the ocean, but may shape the airplanes of the future. It's just a few inches long, but it might save the lives of athletes on the gridiron and soldiers on the battlefield. Someday, this animal may even help you to literally see cancer with your phone. All that, and it punches with the force of a bullet shot from a gun. Meet the mantis shrimp. Pound for pound, one of the strongest animals in the world. From gorillas to grizzly bears, there are a lot of obvious choices for world's strongest. But making a strong showing for the top spot is the small and unassuming mantis shrimp. Usually being called a shrimp is an insult, but if you call somebody a mantis shrimp, you might as well just call them a swift and effective death machine. I mean, they're only four inches long, and we literally have to keep them in their own plastic tanks. So the fear is that one of the glass tanks will be shattered. But how can something so small compete for a title as big as world's strongest? It takes a number of powerful elements, beginning with a punch as powerful as a 22 caliber bullet. If there's any doubt how strong that is, just talk to the people who study mantis shrimps up close. So if you leaf through the laboratory notebooks, you'll suddenly see a bunch of dark brown smudges, which are the blood of the volunteers. A lot of blood was spilled. No wonder a mantis shrimp's nickname is the Thumb Splitter. But where does all that power come from? The clubs of a mantis shrimp are essentially spring-loaded. 
By contracting its muscles, it stores a massive amount of energy in this curved, saddle-shaped structure. Then, the mantis shrimp latches it all into place. Think of it like a crossbow. With the string pulled back and the bolt locked in and ready to fire. When the latch is released, the saddle pops and the club accelerates at over 50 miles per hour and it creates a peak force of over 330 pounds. That's up to 2,500 times its own weight. If a 135 pound man could punch 2,500 times his own weight, he could hit with 10 times the pressure it takes to break steel. But the mantis shrimp also has a secret weapon loaded in that punch, one that makes it even more powerful. It is a shockwave nearly as hot as the sun. The mantis shrimp swings its devastating KO in less than 800 microseconds, the fastest predatory strike in the ocean. It's so fast that theoretically, in the time it takes you to blink once, the mantis shrimp can punch 500 times. So you don't even see it coming. It's just walking down the street dead. That lightning fast punch boils the surrounding water, creating a tiny vapor bubble. When the bubble collapses, it creates a powerful shockwave that's over 8,000 degrees Fahrenheit, almost as hot as the surface of the sun. It even generates a flash of light. It's a destructive force called cavitation. So we kind of got this one-two punch. The poor prey that, that have to suffer their wrath feel the impact from their clubs, and then the cavitation bubbles also implode on their prey. Blowing up clams is impressive, but the mantis shrimp is powerful enough to take on much greater foes. With the most advanced visual system in the animal kingdom, they can help humans see cancer. Consider this. The human eye has just two kinds of photoreceptor cells. One for light and dark, and one for color. But the mantis shrimp's eye has up to 16 different kinds of photoreceptor cells. No other eye has that number of photopigments. That gives them the broadest visual spectrum capability of any animal we know of. The mantis shrimp is being studied to help humans see things like cancer cells, before they metastasize. When cancer cells are put under polarized light, they scatter the light differently than normal body cells. Problem is, humans can't see polarized light with the naked eye, but the mantis shrimp can. So, using the mantis shrimp's eye as a model, researchers are developing a camera small enough to fit in most phones, and capable of detecting these cancer cells before they have a chance to spread. It's just one more way the mantis shrimp fights for the title of world's strongest. But what if you could harness the mantis shrimp's incredible power? If your arms were as fast as his, how far do you think you could throw a baseball? Would it be A, from New York to California, B, New York to Tokyo, or C, the Big Apple into outer space? Plus, find out how this 4-inch marble's exoskeleton could finally make humans bulletproof. The Mantis Shrimp. A 4-inch long crustacean that just happens to have the most powerful punch known to man. Before the break, we asked if you could harness the mantis shrimp's speed in your own arms, how far do you think you could throw a baseball? Would it be A, from New York to California, B, New York to Tokyo, or C, the Big Apple into outer space? Heads up, the answer is C. In fact, by using just 10% of a mantis shrimp's acceleration, you could blast a baseball into orbit 600 times faster than a NASA rocket.
A punch like a bullet. An explosion like the sun. The mantis shrimp is pound for pound one of the strongest animals in the world. Earlier, we told you that the mantis shrimp could punch with a force of up to 2,500 times the weight of its own body. But how does that stack up against the best boxer on Earth? At 5 foot 8 inches, 151 pounds, with a record of over 45 wins, Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. is considered, pound for pound, the best fighter in the world. In the human world, that is. As good as Mayweather is, if he could punch 2,500 times his own weight, that right hook would hit with the force of 377,000 pounds. That's like getting punched with enough force to get a 767 off the ground. Since, as far as we know, Mayweather can't do that, Mantis Shrimp wins. But to punch that hard without blowing up its own arms, the Mantis Shrimp has the power to stop its clubs from breaking at a molecular level. Its clubs are exactly as strong as they need to be. The clubs of the smashing Mantis Shrimp aren't actually fists. They're really more of an elbow. And the secret to their durability is a special shock absorbent core. One that has a molecular structure unlike any other animal we know. Look closer. You'll see a unique arrangement of spiraling fibers called a boulagan structure. These spirals keep microscopic cracks from becoming major splits. So let's say you took a, a, a plate and you dropped the plate, which is a ceramic material, on the ground. Any cracks um, formed in the plate would just propagate right through and it would shatter. In this case, a crack would have to propagate through this entire spiral of fibers. And so it absorbs a lot of energy. That crack will run out of energy before it can go through this entire spiral. This allows the mantis shrimp to deliver punch after shell-shocking punch without the clubs breaking. In fact, these tiny clubs may just be, pound for pound, as strong as a tank. At the very least, they could make tanks stronger. Researchers like David Casalis are mimicking the molecular structure of the mantis shrimp's clubs to build high-tech materials that are piquing the interest of the U.S. military. It's pretty amazing. I mean, we just got a $7.5 million grant from the Department of Defense to form a team where we are looking for common designs where we can actually make next-generation lightweight materials based on the designs of the mantis shrimp. We built a half a pound of high explosives and put it right here where you see this, this circle, and we detonated it. And uh, as you can see, there's lots of damage inside here, um, but the whole panel still held, holds together, and it's only five millimeters thick. So it's very lightweight, five times less uh, dense than steel, and yet it's survived a, an IED without producing any shrapnel. But it's not just for the military. We're actually taking it to the next level where we can actually manufacture uh, lightweight composite materials for a number of applications. Better football helmets, stronger automobiles, even lighter airplanes. The entire world may become a lot stronger, all based on a four inch sea creature's clubs. So remember this name, the Mantis Shrimp. It might just one day save your life.